Hello everyone and welcome back to Village Life. Now in the last one, yeah, pretty much this itself. I did a big boo-boo, forgot to record. I triple checked it this time to make sure it was recording, so that's great. <laughs> uh, it's really bad for me to record when I'm tired because things happen. Anyway, um, doing our downtime between episodes since yesterday. Um, we finished building the water storage, which I have now moved over here, which you can see very nice and a little broader and it can contain 40 water, which it's more sizable for the group amount, uh, group of people we have right now. And the reason why it's already completed is I accidentally tapped it and then I moved it for some reason. I was tired. <laughs> um, the other thing we finished building was the workshop level 3. Let's click on that and finish that off. Mm, yeah, it actually looks pretty nice. I thought it would go more out to the... Well, maybe not. Um, just remember earlier design. No, oh, maybe that changed too. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's actually pretty good. We also, or I managed to unlock research storage level 2. Because it's very important that we have enough space for all the resources that we need for the events. They kind of like building up for the events constantly because you want to be prepared, or at least I want to be prepared because I can't record every day or play every day necessarily due to my exams coming up. Anyway, we need to collect some birch. I have pretty gathered that or foraged that. So we'll click on this and we will start building. Now that would take two days. Now Morgan still wants a kit, so let's try and see if we can if we can have some sort of a success with this time. So let's click on her and try and see if we can have a baby. And if we have a baby, I'll try and see if we can have a four-star villager or something. Uh, ooh, we are lucky this time because I want the, the only skill. Uh, of villagers we are missing right now are farmers and there are at least in many of the events I know of there are a lot of farming items that needed to be done so we at least need around three, three or four farmers to be sure that we can do it within the time span of the event now they have done this quick impressively helpful thing with the commercials but I still think we'll be under time pressure in some way so we will have a premium baby or should we actually have a deluxe baby? Because we have seen the premium babies and how they are. And there's a chance that we get a full fish or, or all that right now. So I would rather try to have a premium baby. Because I don't have the riverside or the mountain. Ooh, spoilers. Um, we don't have those areas yet. So they are not at the moment 100% um, usable. Because if I get a hundred, a really four or five star fisher... He would be kind of wasted here, wouldn't he? Uh, he would just be looking around yeah, going, yeah, that seems possible. Yeah, that seems nice. I can't do it, but hey, you know. But on the other hand, if I do get a five-star villager, that means they have completed stuff. So it wouldn't actually matter. But should we try and get a deluxe baby? Uh, should we try it? Oh, there's still events. Oh, there's still the events, so I don't want to spray those. No. We, we wait a little bit at Deluxe Charm because I just saw one of the uh, event babies that we might actually get very soon. So, <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that. So, let's take a... Let's take a singular baby and see how far we can come with that. We at least just can get one skill point in the farming department. That would be nice. Because that every really little bit helps. So let's clickily click and cross our fingers. We will get a hunter, I think. No, we will get Peter Pan! <laughs> For me, it just seemed like camouflage, but oh well. Let's see, we got a rare. And what is his skill point? He's a fisher! As you can see, what I mean with the whole if he was a fisher, what, the, the skill points wouldn't help. But now that he's a hundred percent fisher from parents, that would mean that 
we have an extra skill point somewhere, so we could put that in farming, even though that would kind of be a waste. Hmm, let's see what we can do with that. Hmm, indeed. Hmm. But that's fair enough. Um, so in four, 24 hours we will have another kid into the mist. And I've actually never seen the Peter Pan sprite yet, so I'm also excited to see that, how he will develop and how he will look as much as he's growing up. And of course we have Sebastian, the first pair of twins that we have. Uh, I think he's 10 or 11 now? I've been playing for so long, oh goodness gracious. He's 10, so there's a couple of days till he comes of age. So we still have to figure out what kind of skill set we would put him in. Maybe we would make him and his sister, Alma, into farmers. And then try to make a uh, farming sibling couple, because it would still reduce it by 25%. And it's more or less, it's always the time issue that's kind of daunting a little in this um, in this game. But that's also part of what makes it great. Because you can also leave it for a while and come back and there's still things to do. And that's great. So now we actually finished building that. That means we can now go into the upgrading departments. And now we can upgrade the resource storage to level 3 and very simple to do that <sighs> but we could also unlock the food storage too because we had our maximum right there so uh, hmm. hmm but we still need to upgrade everything hmm. I think uh, thus far we are at our max with what food we can gather, so we are in good there, but we need to upgrade it before we start the events. Hey. Intriguing, intriguing. How long time would this take? It would take six days. <laughs> Quotation mark, six days. And this would take three days. Hmm. Now that's intriguing, in many ways. Hmm. I think we we'll unlock the food storage just to start having more and more leveled up, and then it equals out in some way in the uh, level they are at or the number they are at. I don't know, kind of a OCD thing, I think. And we can already hurry it a little bit by using commercials again. So, well, <laughs> that helps out a lot. Um, yeah, we have that. And we have that. Oh yeah, we're also in between because I accidentally clicked on the water storage, level 2. We got an achievement. Make the flower bed and upgrade a storage building. So we can now collect that and we have completed that fully. And we get more gems, which is, we won't complain about at all. And what was it more we could do? There was one more thing, but apparently I have forgotten what that was. <laughs> <Our news. laughs> um you know what? I'll be right back and then we start actually building the food storage. And there we go. That was quite easy. And that means we can now start building that and for good times or for good matter's sake we'll start unlocking the research storage 3 because aha then we are thinking ahead in some way. Uh, nice. Um, so let's start see what we need for this. We actually don't need a match, which is great. Um, we will have Penelope gather that. Oop, 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 oop. And uh, we need some balls, but we can wait for that for a while because now I remember what we could have done else. Is because I talked about it in the recording that became no recording. That we could wrong area go into buildings, and we could um, build the flint well. And why not? We haven't unlocked the later versions yet, so let's just build this because if you are absent from the game for quite a while, it's a, w a good way to actually get the water instead of constantly gather water from the well. I think I've mentioned it before, if you constantly play it would be more beneficiary for you 
to collect from the river, but if you are absent from the game a little or a lot, it would be more convenient for you to gather a lot amount of water uh, at the same time. So let's build the flint well and let's do it next to the mud pile because then it would maybe indicate there's water there. Or let's do it in between. You're right there. Yes. And we need... We don't actually need a lot to build it, so... Let's just go ahead and collect some flint. And... What is here? Oh, it's because they finished gathering water. As you can see, it, it still only takes like a minute to do, so it's very practical. Um, how far are we actually with unlocking the other items? Because I haven't quickened them. As you can see, I haven't... I quickened... The Immoral, I think. Because I just used up the last commercials that I had from yesterday. You actually get a lot of them. Which I, I actually am surprised by, but also intrigued by. But eh. Enough of those commercials. Brr. Talk about them too much. But let's see here. What can we else do? Have we any broken items? No? Yes? No? No, it doesn't seem to have anything broken here, so let's go and collect the flint, which is now finished gathering, and let's start building the flint well, which we can have um, Eli do. And that would take an hour, as you can see, and that's... Or one... I really like the kind of... I just really like the, the helping stuff they do in this game, I don't know. I praise it. Let's put it like that. Um, should we try and decorate a little? See if there are any decorations we can put to our village. Because we have a few things. We have some paths and such we can put, put down. But we don't have all the... We don't have everything unlocked yet. Or everything shown yet. Because some items need some unlockables. As far as I remember, Herbicide unlocks some more items we, we could use. Um, let's see, I, or, I'm really intrigued by the walls or the fences. I actually want to find one of these fence fences just to see if we can make it a little... Well, if I could move it around it would be nice. Eh, okay. It seems to be stuck. <laughs> That's not um, what I, I expected. Let's try again. Let's see if we can put it in front of a farm here and kind of like a fence farm. <laughs> Make a, a fence for the farm. Uh, oh, it's actually nice you they do that. And you can actually put them against each other. So that actually looks quite nice, I must say. And can we do this and then move it over here? I think I have to move them just a little bit, or am I? The only thing I have with this game is you can't change angles as such. But we can't get closer than that. Whoop, I didn't mean to do that. And how I got so many coins is actually when I didn't have enough space. You can see I have like 4,000. When you don't have enough space, you, you have to sell. I can just show you that quickly. Go into the resource apartment and you see you can sell a tin for four down here and then you make space that's what i've done the last couple of times that's why i'm kind of desperate to get more space in our resource storage well let's get the rest of the fence here uh i kind of wanna if it's possible to do that and we can place that next to. Can we place it in between here? Oh, no. We just gotta do this. And see if we can. We can't really place it here though, so it kinda cuts off there. But what we can do is put these against. <laughs> For some reason now it won't really react with me. And my screen. 
My screen doesn't want to interact with me. Damn you! After restarting my game, we have to move these over here. We can't do that, but we can move it over to the side here, so it looks nice. We can move that next to... That next to... Hmm. That actually looks quite nice. We should probably have given it more space so we could actually make it all, all around. Um, hmm. let's head to this for now because I know we are going to get we are going to move them at some point because we can get six farming plots in total, and then we maybe have to rearrange the city a little bit. Now the birds actually finished being collected, so let's just collect it and start upgrading. Let's just skip this. Oh, we need we we need one more birch. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, then we can actually just do a little more decorating. Just a little bit. Just just a little bit. Oh, what's that? There's a little description in our book. What does that mean? Is it because there are these specials on offer? Well, I... Oh, hold on. The frozen slash a little hinge of Hans Christian Andersen's uh, fairy tales is Christmas. Okay, so oh, it's because we have one of these now. Oh, oop, no, no, that was not what I meant to do. You can collect them. <gasps> oh no, this game is gonna be too good for me. You guys know, if you've been following me for a little bit, I have a collect -a fun OCD. <laughs> I need to collect everything. That's not good. <laughs> but that's great. Now we also kind of spoilers how he looks when he's a doll. Uh, oh, there's a lot of spoilers here. I'm going up. I'm going up again. What is he actually? Well, when they are so high up in the department, it's kind of like... Oh, they're heroes! Okay, okay, that they are the ones that we want to get at some point. What is he? He's a forager. So you can technically just buy them? I am intrigued. <laughs> um, but that, that's, a, that's a bad thing for me, because that means I can collect a lot of stuff at some point. Professional. Oh, fairy tales. Oh, I like that one. And I kind of like the Mad Hatter and the Queen of Hearts are on next to each other going, Oh, we're so happy together. Even though if you've seen Alice through the mirror or read Alice through the mirror, eh, that relationship is not so. <laughs> but that's nice that they, they offer new villages every day. But are they only the ones in here? That could be nice if they also just offered two... Star villagers and such. I haven't seen that yet, but we will see that at some point. Now, I was also intrigued by the little cor little uh, icon next to the book, or next to the four, where it says a person plus. What that is. Oh, you can still buy people like that. Okay. Hmm. But I'm guessing they are. They cost no more than a kid. Well, that's intriguing. That's very intriguing. That's very intriguing. Everything is intriguing to me today, holy. Anyway, we're almost done with the gathering of the birch. And the little monkey theater is still up and running. Um, let's see. I'm still kind of debating if I should make like big paths around. Because I kind of like the natural, uh, na natural features, but I kind of like the, the part that you have fences and such to f to just show that you are trying to keep stuff out, even though I, as far as I know there's no enemies in the game. They might have added some. You never know. To be the little devilish they are, you never know. Well, at least I know without the events there shouldn't be any 
villains as such. And with some red, little, tiny bit rearranging of the village now again, I put the dancing area next to the theater because theaters often give off music so that made sensible as well as just placing other stuff like slightly randomly because I'm not quite sure where I want to put them yet um, but yeah I've rearranged the city a little bit because now I'm actually starting to put stuff into it which I didn't do in my former play of it because I wanted to make it seem wild but this time I actually want to seem a little civilization building up slowly would be nice um, but with that we also finished gathering the birch and we can continue on building the food storage or upgrading rather and we have Penelope do that and then we will actually I think we will be ending off now because I think we, there's not much we can do more than other than wait for things to start to build completely so until next time guys take care and have a fabulous day.